So I started tap dancing when I was three years old. My mom signed me up for ballet, tap, and jazz. Uh, like every other little girl out there, their mom wants them to go into dance and just see if they like it. And that's what I did. Um, and I still do ballet, tap, and jazz. But I never grew up wanting to be a ballerina. I always leaned more towards tap dancing, um, which not everybody likes. But for me, that was always my favorite and it still is. When I was little, I loved the rhythms and I enjoyed how fast it was when you started learning them and you could pick them up more. Um, and it was always my favorite since the day I started. Um, I continued with it and I just wanted more and more and more tap. And then I ended up finding musical theater as another outlet of tap dancing and that just sparked it even more. I fell in even more in love with it because I realized that tap dancing isn't just dancing, it's also performing and it's acting through your feet and your body and through rhythms, just like any other dancing is. I love tap, it is my passion. It gives me a sense of relief and peace in my day whenever I'm really stressed or there's a lot going on in my head or my mind, I always just like to throw my tap shoes on and go in my basement and take a block of wood and just tap. I only tap once a week, really in a class setting, but then the rest of the week I can always take what I learned there and just keep on going with it. Um, and I don't stop really until I get it because I want to perfect it and just hit it. That way that next time everyone's sounds are together. I think that's what really is the most fascinating thing to me about tap is when it's not just one person tap dancing, but when everyone is together um, and it's creating just one solid sound where it sounds like one shoe and it's just, it gives me chills. It's the most fantastic feeling in the world.